Hello everyone, and welcome back to Storytime Online. My name is Laura, and we're going to have a lot of fun today. Let's get things started with our welcome song. Hello friends, hello friends, hello friends, it's time to say hello. Now it's time to do some moving and grooving, and we are going to kick that off with a fun song called Gray Squirrel. So we are going to pretend to be fuzzy, fabulous squirrels. All right, let's get our bushy tails ready. Gray squirrel, gray squirrel, shake your bushy tail. Gray squirrel, gray squirrel, shake your bushy tail. Wrinkle up your nose, hold a nut between your toes. Gray squirrel, gray squirrel, shake your bushy tail. Gray squirrel, gray squirrel, shake your bushy tail. Now, what do you say we do this song one more time? But instead of pretending to be gray squirrels, let's pretend to be brown squirrels. All right, let's get our bushy brown tails ready. Brown squirrel, brown squirrel, shake your bushy tail. Brown squirrel, brown squirrel, shake your bushy tail. Wrinkle up your nose, hold a nut between your toes. Brown squirrel, brown squirrel, shake your bushy tail. Brown squirrel, brown squirrel, shake your bushy tail. Great job, everybody. And now it is time for us to power up our rocket ships because we are going to zoom, zoom, zoom all the way to the moon. Let's do it. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you'd like to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon in five, four, three, two, one, blast off! Whew. Oh my goodness! Oh wow, we're flying through space. There's the Earth down there. Whew. Let's come back to Earth. Why, you asked? Because we are going to zoom, zoom our way up to the moon one more time. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you'd like to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon in five, four, three, two, one, blast off! Whew. Oh, it sure is fun visiting space. But we are going to come back down to Earth because we have our first little puppet friend to meet today. Or should I say puppet friends? Here we have three little baby birds in their little nest. And we're going to do a little rhyme about these three little baby birds. Here is the nest all warm inside. Three little birds can safely hide. Here is the nest all hidden away. Three little birds can flap and play. Here is the nest all cozy and deep. Three little birds all fast asleep. Let's do that one more time. What do you say, little birds? Yep, yep, yep. Awesome. Here is the nest all warm inside. Three little birds can safely hide. Here is the nest all hidden away. Three little birds can flap and play. Here is the nest all cozy and deep. Three little birds all fast asleep. So we're going to let our little bird friends enjoy their nap in their nest while we get ready to read our story, which means it's time to sing the song the more we read together. The more we read together, 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 the more we read together, the happier we'll be. Read big books and small books and short books and tall books. The more we read together, the happier we'll be. And the book we are reading today is called All of the Factors of Why I Love Tractors. Written by Davina Bell and illustrated by Jenny Lavelle. Whoa, I've sure got a lot of tractors right off the bat here. We've got some yellow ones, some red ones, some blue. Oh my goodness, that blue one is carrying a cow. And this red one, it's got a 
There's a raft in the back. Oh my god. Oh, and there's a pig and another cow and there's goats on a mountain. Oh my goodness. It's really quite amazing what these tractors can do. And there's another nice red tractor with a little boy, a little worm, and a little dog. I'm off on an outing with my mom today, and we're not just going to the park to play. Where are we going? Take a guess. Take a look. I'll give you a hint, and the hint is this book. Down past the school and the pool and the shop, I run to the door with a skip and a hop. It's the library. Hello there, Frankie McGee. Miss Squid the librarian says to me. Oh no, says my mom with a very big groan when I show her the book that I want to take home. There are more than a million good books here to try. Why is yours always about tractors, Frank? Why? Oh, thank you for asking, I say with great glee. I'd love to explain why they're special to me and tell you the main glorious factors that go into the love that I have for all tractors. First, the big strong treads on wheels that can travel through huge muddy fields or across pits of gravel. A rumbling engine, a pipe that spits smoke, a rake if you're raking, a hoe that can poke. A seat for the farmer, a wheel that she steers, a grumbling noise as she changes gears. Levers and buttons and pedals to press. Trucks have those too, my mum loudly protests. But mom, I say, trucks just cannot do the things that a tractor can, let me tell you. A tractor has different parts that attach, a shovel for digging, a vegetable patch, a plow to turn earth so it's ready for seeds, a sharp blade to chop all those troublesome weeds. Please stop, says my mom. I have heard quite enough, but I'm only beginning. They do even more stuff. You used to like trains, my mother complains, but then I got bigger and so did my brain. And I realized trains can only chug down a track. How boring. I'm snoring just thinking of that. Police cars have sirens, gliders have wings, and forklifts have forks if you're into those things. But none of those is as good enough factor to challenge my love for a shiny red tractor. Like an old Massey Ferguson, what a machine. Or if red's not around, well, I guess I'll take green. That's the color of tractors made by John Deere. I know, says my mom, we've been hearing all year. What about fire trucks with ladders and hoses or planes with their wide wings and cute little noses? Cranes are so tall, they can help build a wall. They can lift things up high, they deliver and haul. A cement mixer? All it does is go around. A steamroller? It just sort of squashes the ground. What's wrong with tractors? I don't understand. Oh, Frank, I'm sorry, but I just can't stand any more books about them. Will these do instead? Cable cars, submarines, taxis, a sled? This one has rockets flying through space. This one has cars driving fast in a race. No thanks, I say in my most polite voice, but I think you'll be very pleased with my choice. I'll lend it to you if you're interested to. There's a lot you can learn about what tractors do. Frankie, mom hollers. Hush, says Miss Squid. Did you find something, Frank? Thank you, yes I did. For many various glorious reasons, I want this book. And it's all about tractors. What a surprise, I would have never guessed, says Miss Squid with a wink. Well, you know yourself best. When you want something different, just come and find me. A kid who likes books is a nice thing to see. Right, Mom? I say as we check my book out. I like books. That's what matters, not what they're about. And don't worry, I add. I know this one by heart. Can I read it to you? When can we start? <laughs> so here we have more tractors doing awesome things. Yes, Frankie is very passionate about tractors. Is there something that you really like a lot? Could be tractors as well. Or maybe trains? Trains are still pretty cool, despite what Frankie said. 
I really like animals. That's one of the things that I find really, really awesome. Lots of factors for why I like and love animals. All right, so now that we've got our story done, we are going to warm up our hands for some finger rhymes. And the first finger rhyme we're doing today is called hands. So we're gonna have both of our hands out. Two little hands so clean and bright. This is my left and this is my right. Left hand, right hand, how can you tell? Look very closely, the left is an L. So when you take your left hand and you put it out in front of you, it's an L, like the first letter of my name, as a matter of fact. All right, let's do this song one more time. Two little hands, so clean and bright. This is my left and this is my right. Left hand, right hand, how can you tell? Look very closely, the left is an L. Great job, everyone. And now we are going to do The Moon is Round. The moon is round, as round as can be. It has two eyes, two ears, and a mouth, like me. <laughs> what do you say we do this rhyme one more time? The moon is round, as round as can be. It has two eyes, two ears, and a mouth like me. <laughs> and now it is time for us to meet our second puppet friend of the day. Now this puppet rhyme is called Little Arabella Miller. Do you know a word that rhymes with Miller that describes a little animal? Oh, a caterpillar. Hello, little caterpillar. <laughs> Are you going to help us with this rhyme? All right, let's get to it. Little Arabella Miller had a fuzzy caterpillar. First it crawled upon her mother, then upon her baby brother. They said, Arabella Miller, put away your caterpillar. Well, caterpillar, we'd like you to sing this little rhyme with us one more time. Is that okay? Little Arabella Miller had a fuzzy caterpillar. First it crawled upon her mother, then upon her baby brother. They said, Arabella Miller, put away your caterpillar. Oh, I know the family of Arabella Miller isn't too keen on the caterpillar, but I think caterpillar is simply wonderful. All right, now it is time for us to read, to read, to enjoy our puppet story of the day. And our puppets are going to be performing Piglet and Mama, a story originally written by Margaret Wilde and illustrated by Stephen Michael King. All right. Oh. This is a lovely farm, isn't it? Luscious green grass, a lovely red barn. Oh, so nice. If only there were some... <coughs> ah, here come the farm animals. Hello! <coughs> and here we have a lovely... No, a lovely what? What is this animal? You've got it. It's a pig. <coughs> yeah! So, this is our little pig. And our little pig is going to help us out with the story, Piglet and Mama. One morning in the farmyard, Piglet <coughs> lost her mama. Oink! cried Piglet. So with a snuffle and a snort, <coughs> she went off to look for her mama. Mama! said Piglet. Quack, quack, quack. Your mother's not here, said Duck. Let's have a cuddle. But Piglet wanted her mama. Mama! said Piglet. Your mama's not here. Uh, let's make a daisy chain, said she. But no, Piglet wanted her mama. Mama, said Piglet. Your mama's not here, said Donkey. Eehaw, let's play chase. But Piglet wanted her mama. Mama, 
said Piglet. Oof, 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 oof. Your mom is not here, said Doug. The dog. Let's roll the mud. <laughs> but Piglet wanted her mama. Mama, said Piglet. Nay, your mama's not here, said Horse. Let's dance in the daffodils instead. But Piglet wanted her mama. Mama, said Piglet. Meow, meow, your mama's not here, said Cat. Let's snooze in the sun. But Piglet wanted her mama. Mama, cried Piglet. cried Piglet. Oink, there you are. I've been looking for you everywhere, said Mama. So with a snuffle and a snort, Piglet and Mama had a big pig cuddle. Can I join you two in your little pig cuddle? Of course. Sure. Mm. Oh, pigs do make wonderful cuddlers. Mm. All right, you two. Time to go back to do your fun things in the farmyard. Hey, maybe you could go do those other things with the animals with your mama. I would love that idea. Let's do it. All right, so our little pig friend is going to hang out with the other animals after all, with her mama. But as fun as it would be for us to tag along, we are going to do some shaker songs instead. I don't think you'll be disappointed. <laughs> Shakers are pretty awesome. So let's start our shaker songs with a shaker song called Shake It. One, two, shake it on your shoe. Three, four, shake it on the floor. Five, six, stir and mix. Seven, eight, stand up straight. Nine, ten, wave to your friends. Hello, friends. Let's do this rhyme one more time. One, two, shake it on your shoe. Three, four, shake it on the floor. Five, six, stir and mix. Seven, eight, stand up straight. Nine, ten, wave to your friends. Hey, friends. All right, let's keep all that fun shaking going with our second shaker song called Egg Shakers Up. Egg shakers up, egg shakers down, egg shakers dancing all around. Dance them on your shoulders, dance them on your head, dance them on your knees, and tuck them into bed. Wake them up. We are going to do this song one more time before they go sleeping. Egg shakers up, egg shakers down, egg shakers dancing all around. Dance them on your shoulders, dance them on your head, dance them on your knees, and tuck them into bed. <sighs> All right. We have reached the end of our program today, but thank you everyone for tuning in. I had a lot of fun. What about you? Great. Now it is time to sing our goodbye song until we meet again. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends, it's time to say goodbye. See you later, everyone, and have a great weekend.